first you draw a circle, then you dot the eyes, add a great big smile, and presto, it's Kirby! Hi guys, this is DKS3A, the Crazy Gamer, and welcome to my next new Let's Play. This is Kirby's Adventure for the NES. I played this game so much when I was growing up. Uh, I know it came a little bit later in the NES library. By the time this game came out, the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis were already starting to get popular. But I didn't have a Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis when this game came out, so I, all I had was the NES. So all I focused on was on the NES, but I got this game not long after it came out, and I used to play the game all the time. I, I loved Kirby's Adventure, I mean Kirby's Dream Land for the NES, I mean for the Game Boy. And so there was, uh, there's also a game that I really enjoyed, so decided to let's play it. This would be a nice little let's play for me to do until it's uh, time for the next, uh, for Let's Play Corner Portable Summit I was talking about earlier uh, on my finale of Final Fantasy VI. Anyway, uh, let's get started with this game. This is going to be level one, Vegetable Valley. And him and uh, Kirby and enemy are uh, fighting on, the and Kirby's got no sword. So he just swallows the sword and grabs his sword. Yes. This game right here is actually the first Kirby game. Kirby's Dream Land doesn't have it. Well, you can do uh, copy abilities, steal other enemies' powers and stuff like that. You can still fly around like this. And let's enter World 1-1, one, one, and I'll explain it to you as time goes along. Push le left left twice or right twice to do a run. But basically, you can push the swallow the enemy like that, spit them out, spit it out, hit other enemies to kill them. But if you push down, you can swallow the enemy's enemies. See, this one, some enemies have abilities, like this one has beam, so you can uh, shoot beams coming out, but I'll show off some of the other ones. I like beam, but I'll show off some of the other ones that you can do. Like this one right here has fire, you can, Kirby shoots out a lot of fire, like, blah, blah, blah. and of course the typical doors and stuff. Push select, you can get rid of the, uh, of the, uh, the power you have, this one's spark. I mean, it turns into a big spark thing, but I think I'm gonna. Uh, that's, I think that's the only three you really mess with this uh, this level. So I'm gonna stick with fire because fire is really fun. And you can put, fly, when you fly up in the air, you push B, uh, you push the B button, and it like you can attack enemies with a puff of air, like I show there. Yeah, but so for the most part, I think that in this first level, this introductory level, and also too, like I said, the only three power ups you really get to mess with. Or beam, fire, and spark. So don't worry about too much right now. So. And already this is the end of level 1 1. And at the end of each game, you can uh, level, there's a little bonus game where you can get points or make it up to level the first level. The level above there, you get uh, 1 up. Alright, so there. And if you see a little flag beneath, you got all the secrets. Uh, some of the levels have secrets. And all kinds of stuff, so you have to pay attention to that. But if you have a little flag by the door, that means you got all the secrets for that floor, uh, for that for that level. And there's also little mini games like here. You can get a crane game, and you can uh, you can try to get the big Kirby here, which are a little bit harder to get. But if you can get some of the Kirby's, you get extra lives. So let's see what we got here. We got the big Kirby for an extra life. I try to get the the big Kirby again. You get two tries. Yeah, the music's cool. I like this game. I used to play this game so much. And I get two big Kirbys. And each big Kirby gives you two bucks. So that's four extra lives. So let's move on to level one, two. Vegetable Valley. Now these enemies here are Gordos. You can't Destroy period. So, alright, so yeah, basically here, more of the same cannons. Alright, we got a new power up here I'm gonna show, I can show off. It's called Cutter, where you throw boomerangs. These warp stars will take you to uh, uh, other parts of the level. Bink, bink, bink. And our first mini boss is coming up. Little boomerangs, which are cool. This right here is our first little mini boss, Poppy Brothers Senior, which is basically the same as every Poppy Brothers Senior uh, Junior, 
that's in every Kirby game. He just throws bombs at you, pick up the bombs, and throw them back, spit them back out at him. So, and basically he'll just jump over you like this, and and there we go. And let's uh. But that one you get you can only uh, you get an attack you can only use once called crash. But then it's gone. But you can only use it once, so that's fine though. There's fire. Again. And underwater here you can use a unlike in Kirby's Adventure Dreamland, you can use a underwater underwater attack. It suits out water and kills off the enemy. Poppy Brothers Senior or Junior? Okay, that was Poppy Brothers Senior because that, these are little Poppy Brothers Juniors. And just go over here. Let's get the Maxim Tomato, which completely restores our health. Yeah, this game's a lot, lot longer than um, a lot, lot longer than the uh, original uh, Kirby Dreamland too. Kirby Dreamland, you can probably finish in like ah, oh, I wanted that sword in like 25 minutes. This one's going to be a lot longer. And I made it to uh, the top thing, which, like I said, you get a little dance, and uh, if you make it to the top, you get a one-up. Any other level, you get points and stuff. That completes level one, two. So that's it for that. the secrets in that level, so let's go to one, three. Here you just w worry about the uh, cannons and stuff. Still not too hard. Yeah, you can slide down. You're in my way, little man. Tiki head. Alright, we got a new enemy here. Uh, uh, power up here. Fireball. Fireballs! Yum. Yum! Which basically turns into a big fireball and he just shoots straight ahead like fireball. 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 That was a pretty, that's a pretty cool attack too. I think uh, this level gives you your first secret too. I think you would want a fire, but I'm not absolutely sure. I'm gonna bring it with me just to be on the safe side. I guess we'll find out here in a minute. This game is actually not too hard either. I mean, some of the levels can get kind of difficult toward the end, but overall this game is not terribly hard. Let's go down here to the very bottom and grab this Maxim Tomato. Okay, I guess this level doesn't have uh, any power-ups, any secrets, because this is already in the level. Made it to two. Did the 5,000 points. And we got a, a second, uh, this is the museum. Which gives you, an, uh, you can just go in here and grab any, uh, uh, different abilities sometimes they have more than one ability but this is the sword ability jump up in the air and you can use the sword to swipe around you or you can just swipe up here and then down and slide into the enemy so I'm gonna keep sword for a little while let's head to world 1-4 new music we're now in the tree in the trees basically here we're gonna have to start up and this is gonna be our second mini boss if you can beat, if you kill this many, if you beat that many boss, I'm not gonna worry about it. But you get the uh, ice ability or blizzard or something. But I want to keep the sword for a little bit. Wouldn't that be something if I say I was gonna keep the sword a little bit, then I wind up losing the sword. But yes, I freaking love Kirby. But yeah, I lost the sword anyway. Oh well. If you swallow more than one enemy, too, you can get, like, a double star. If you get a, uh... Well, you can hit more than one enemy. If you swallow two enemies that have, uh... This is a new ability here. Needle. Which turns into a needle... You can't... You, which turns into, like, a little hedgehog porcupine kind of thing. But if you, uh, swallow two enemies that have abilities at the same time, you start a roulette of enemy, uh... Of, uh... 
power-ups, then you wind up getting a uh, random power-up, which is kind of cool. Alright, let's get Needle again. I guess. And we get Hyper Candy Sugar Rush! Sugar! Makes you invincible for a short time. Ah, Sugar Rush! Candy, 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 candy! That's the only way you can really get this extra man, too, which I'm not gonna worry about because. Sugar Rush! Candy, 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 candy! So, yeah. Alright, so we made it to two again. You have to hit, have to hit A at just the right time to get to one, so. And already we're at the boss for level one, so. And if, uh, once you get to different worlds, you'll be able to use that warp star to instantly travel between worlds. So, I'm uh, having a power up for this level, this boss right now would not be the best idea. But this, uh, this enemy is the same as every other, and first boss is the same as uh, first boss of many other Kirby games. It's Wispy Wood. Drops apples. Oh, down, just swallow the apples and pick them up at him. If as long as you stay close to his face, you won't be able to hit you with his air shots. So just kind of stay right here, and basically, boom! There we go. We beat the first boss in the first level, and we get the little Kirby dance. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby dance. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby dance. Da -da 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 -da. And uh, I guess we're we'll here, guys. We could possibly do one level per le per video. Some of the video levels are going to be longer though, but we'll start at level 2, Ice Cream Island, next time on Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. This is DKS3A, the crazy gamer, signing out.